Hey guys, John Cannon for JJ DJ Entertainment. Wanting to show you guys a couple um a couple quick things on Show Express, but mainly I want to show you guys how to do macros. One of the uh, most frequently asked questions that myself or Storm gets on the uh, Facebook page, our Facebook group, Chave Show Express and Lighting, is how to make macros. Um, macros are really handy. And if you don't know what a macro is, a macro is essentially, in your live menu here, you have all your different maybe movements, colors, lights, you know, uh, different effects of from the multiple, multiple fixtures. And a macro is pretty much saying, I want all these different effects to be one button. So that one button can trigger as many effects as, as you want, or as many of the live scenes that you've made um, as you want. So instead of trying to click everything, one button, you know, enables a certain set of defined live scenes. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you take this, this setup right here, which is our um, Curve Trust setup for our school dances, we have the disco ball in the mirror are in the middle, and we have the four Q-Spot 260s closest to the disco ball. So I know I want a scene where I have the white um, or the open gobo on the Q-Spot 260s. And I want those to be on the disco ball. And I want to be able to call that scene up any time without having to hit both the white and the disco ball button. So pretty much what I'm going to do is select what I want. And you got to be careful if you, if you do this live. Because if you have maybe, you know, other other things enabled and you make a, um, if you make a macro button, it's going to save whatever live scenes you have enabled. So... If you're trying to do this during a, a live show, it could potentially, you know, cause a little bit of confusion for you, but it could be, you know, you might be trying to, you know, build stuff or make a macro button with multiple live scenes. But right now, I just want to make a macro button that's going to trigger the the white on my Q-Spot 260s, and I want it to be, um, the movement to be focused on the disco ball. So all we do is we have a blank page here, um, add page. I'm going to call this custom macros. And you guys may find it easier for you to have the macros on other pages, but I like to have pages or just one page just full of macros. Um, whether it's for my Q spots or my my um, mega QAs, my beams, you know, whatever it may be, I like to have them all on one page. So we've made this page. We have, again, we have the white and the disco ball. The two buttons we need to get um, are um, turned on. And we're going to click the little three dots next to the drop down menu. And we're going to click add macro button. And what this is, I'm going to name this button white disco. And there we go. So now every time I click this button, it's going to automatically turn on those scenes that I have selected. But let's say, you know, I, I wanted to not only have the white and the disco ball uh, movement, but I wanted to have my prism on. Well, you don't have to create a new button. You can do what they call update on um, the macro button. So first to do that, we're going to turn back on the macro. And like I said, we need to add the prism. So I'm going to turn the prism on. And the prism doesn't show in 3D, but I, I know that that button does work. So you're not done yet. What you have to do is right click on the button and click update uh, macro button. So again, right click, hit update macro. And that will update the button so it will now include the prism on setting so and again if you decide you don't want the prism effect to be on just like you just added it you turn the macro back on click it right click on the macro update macro button and now that is no longer included with that button another thing you can do for macros is you can um or you can do this actually with any button i try but i i try to do this with my macros so I like to take a screenshot of this 3D. Not that I can't figure out what white disco is, but sometimes when you have you know bigger macro buttons that have you know 10 to 15 different items selected for large shows, it does kind of help you out to have a visual to um, recall what you were doing. So I'm gonna right click. I just took a screenshot of my 3D. I'm gonna right click at a button image, and right here should be that that image. So now. When I start adding more buttons, this will get better, get into a better uh, proportion, so you can it's not just look so you know spaced or you know squished like that. 
Um, so it kind of helps, you know, visually to be able to see, you know, kind of get an idea of what you're working on. So another thing to do with macros is you don't have to just do them for one fixture. Let's say, you know, when I hit this white disco, I want to have also, let's say it would be a good color. Let's go with a, let's go with that nice amber, which this right here is controlling all these par cans that are inside the truss. And I'm going to go with a, let's see, how does this look? That kind of looks nice, nice little amber fade. So I'm going to make another macro button, which is the white disco with the, um, the amber truss warmer. So when you start getting with a lot of things on, I try to abbreviate a little bit. And what, what practice also helps me is if it's colors, if I'm trying to abbreviate colors, I put them all in capital. And then what it is, what it's doing, I try to put them in lowercase. Okay. So that should make me a new button. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to move this button underneath that um, the white disco that we just made. Perfect. Okay. So now I have my white disco with amber truss warming, or I can just have the standalone um, white disco. So there you go, guys. That is macro buttons. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, hop on the Facebook group, Chave Show Express and Lighting. Um, like I said, you know, play with the macro buttons. Figure out you know, what works best for you. Um, one of the things from a lighting standpoint for me, I when, when the lights change, you know, I want the lights to change. I want the whole feel of the, the light show to change with it. Meaning I don't want to have to click, okay, I got white disco and then red truss forming. Now I want to change it. So I want to go to a green crown and then a yellow, you know, send six. I, I don't want to have to click all that stuff. I want it to be, you know, a, an instant change. So the, you know, if I'm trying to do it at a certain part of the song as the song's building or when, when the, the the beats are, you know, the bass is really kicking on a certain part of the song. You know, I want it all change instantly. So the macros really come in handy there. So you can queue up an entire light, you know, entire light show, you know, to um, per se, you know, instantly. So again, John Cannon for JJ DJ Entertainment. Leave your comments, questions, feedback below. There's a ton of videos, ton of help on the, the Facebook page. Um, do a search in Facebook for Chave Show Express and Lighting. Um, if you guys need any help, by all means, ask um, myself, Storm, or anyone else on the, the Facebook group.